are up and ready for our first morning in New York. We just arrived yesterday and had the evening just to kind of get our bearings and get all unpacked and get settled. We headed into Times Square last night and then we went to Joe's Pizza for some pizza. It was absolutely delicious. And then we headed off to New Blaze Cocktail Bar. I'll just insert some clips here. It's currently 6 a.m. and we're up and ready and we're gonna head now down onto the subway in towards Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Um Connor was here a couple of years ago and he loved the Pebble Beach by Dumbo. Am I right? Yeah, we're gonna go there now. We're gonna go there now for the sunrise. So we're wrapped up nice and warm. We're gonna head in now to Brooklyn to see the sunrise. Going down the subway. We have made it to Brooklyn. It is a super wet morning. Very cloudy, so I don't even think we're going to see a sunrise. We're not going to see much of a sunrise, it might just get brighter. <laughs> It'll probably just get brighter, yeah, but sure, we're here now. So we're heading towards Pebble Beach. It's just about a 10 minute walk from is York, it York Street. Street. That's where we got off the subway. Made it down, this is Manhattan Bridge. Everybody on their commute to work. And then Brooklyn Bridge, just over there. It's still quite dark, it's kind of hard to see, but... It's very dark but it's still an unreal view at the same time. Yeah, it's lovely and there's we pass loads of people going around running, doing their run in this weather, like it's lashing rain. Know. But it's gonna start getting brighter. We're gonna head over towards now the Brooklyn Bridge and yeah, walk yeah, over there. Walk over the Brooklyn Bridge now. At least that'll start brightening up as we're going over it, so it'll look nice. Yeah, we'll get a better view of it that way. But it's super cool. Crazy, crazy big city. I can't get over how big it is. Like, holy moly. It's absolutely massive. massive. We were in Dubai, we thought Dubai was big, but this <laughs> does know. not a chance now. It's crazy, and up on the rooftop last night, like, oh, yeah. we could, the clouds just started to lift um, as we sat, as the time went by, and um, oh my god, it was just I amazing. We sat for a good 10 minutes, not even talking to each other, we because were just, we were like, just staring at oh, one. Oh. Looking at it, taking it all in, it was so cool. Oh my god, it's just class. Gosh, that boat's going very quick. It is. Look at the carousel in there. Oh, yeah. oh my god. So surreal. You know when you always think about a place and you can't really imagine yourself being here. It's just amazing. We've just come into a little cafe called Butler for a little coffee and a little snack. It's still quite dark and gloomy out and we're not going to see much of a sunrise so I'm going to wait until it gets brighter to head up onto the bridge. It's a super nice little spot just by the bridge. And we got our two almond cortados and two protein bars with like flaxseed and quinoa and walnuts and all that. So we're gonna have a little nibble here and then head up towards the bridge. How good does the coffee look? Yeah, it's such a nice little spot. It's just kind of below the bridge. The bridge is just up there. Yeah, like literally just there. It's getting nice and bright now, so it looks a lot better. But it's still rainy. We get a cheeky little shot before any cars come. And we are now starting our walk over to Manhattan, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to walk over to Manhattan and then we're going to go for breakfast. Yeah, so still wet and gloomy, but super cool. And what a nice way to start the day. This is actually so cool. Sorry, I keep... I keep, I keep for that. <laughs> he might need to get an umbrella himself because yeah. it's not really big enough to share, but we're kind of blessed in a way that it is raining because it's so quiet up here. It's not pretty dead. It's the dead. last time I was here, it was so busy. Yeah, so like it's just really odd, and there's another couple, but oops. But it's just so quiet. So yeah, there's always a silver lining, even if the weather's rubbish. Still make the most of it. It's so cloudy, you can't even see the tops of the skyscrapers. Nuts. I can't get over how big it is. Massive life. Super, super cool. I'm gonna head to a diner now because that is something we always wanted to check off in New York. Yeah, just go to like an old school diner. Um, Get a wee cup of joe, pancakes <laughs> maybe, just chill out. Yeah. Got the menu, breakfast all day. It's actually quite a nice menu here. Yeah, and it's actually healthy too with the Oh yeah, that would be a nice choice. 
loads going on. Oh my god, it's actually massive. Cups of Joe. Cups of Joe. Give us a taste test. Mm, nice. Yes. Yeah, it looks good and strong anyway. Down there, it's the milk for me. Oh, that's really nice. Actually. Yeah, love it. At our food, we both went for the wrap and the fruit cup, and then we also had to try the pancakes. Let's put some syrup. I'm scared, this is probably going to come out quite fast, is it? Yum. They look so fluffy and delicious. Bon appetit. We are walking up Wall Street right now. We're gonna head up to the bull. Charging bull, I think it's called. Yeah, the good luck bull. Grab it by the balls. <laughs> That's so cool, the stock exchange. Awesome. Massive. God, it's so built up. Spot the country girl. <laughs> Look at all the buildings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cool though. And here she is. Gotta go around and rub the back. For good luck. <laughs> the good luck charm. What are you watching for? You can't even defend your teammate. <laughs> It is a little while later, we ended up coming home and crashing. <laughs> we were so tired because we've been up since 5 a.m. So um, we had a nice big nap and then we had a little bit of lunch and got ready. So we're all ready now to head out to the Moulin Rouge show. We're going to Broadway to see the show. That was a surprise that Connor got me for Christmas. So I'm super excited. He's very excited too because it's a two and a half hour long show. I can't wait. <laughs> But it's meant to be such a good experience, so let's go. Here we are. We're an hour early, but it's actually kind of busy already outside. We're getting some water because we're so exciting doing dry January. <laughs> Sticking to our word. <laughs> back in the hotel after the Moulin Rouge show it was absolutely unreal like so 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 good I was not I didn't even know what to expect to be quite honest because I didn't even read up about it I just knew it was going to be good but oh my god it was incredible it was so like modern with all the music but it was also like an old school kind of storyline it was just absolutely amazing like if you're here or I know they do it in Paris as well but you need to go and watch that show because it was absolutely amazing wasn't it Connor? It was very good. He even loved it like it was long though it was two and a half hours long there was a break in between but I would go and watch it like right now again. I thought it was absolutely class towards the end. Like there wasn't a dry eye in the theater. Except for him. <laughs> and I was sobbing towards the end. Oh my God, it was so sad. But yeah, if you get a chance, 100% go and see it. It is so good. But now I'm gonna go in for a shower, wash my face and get into nice clean jammies and hit the hay. We will see you bright and early in the morning.
Hello, hello. We are all freshened up after our run. That was such an amazing morning. We got up and had our bagels, as you saw. They were delish. One thing that I requested to do was go for a run through the city and then into Central Park. So that's what we done this morning. It was absolutely amazing. We started off in Chelsea and then we ran towards Broadway, Times Square, and then down towards Central Park. And we ran around bits of Central Park and then came out. And it was just amazing. Just over 10K altogether. All the scenery around Central Park and stuff oh was class. Oh my God, it was amazing. And when we spotted the plaza, I was like, oh my God, like it's right there. And it was just so cool. It's a really good way to see the city in such a short time because you're running all the time and you're ticking everything off it was great exactly yeah it's like you run through all these old movie scenes from movies it's unreal oh, it was it was really really enjoyable we are now gonna head down get some coffee and a little bite to eat and then head in to do the rockefeller yeah we're gonna go and do the rockefeller now hopefully it's gonna be clear up there i know we have a book for today and typical today it's been raining and drizzly again and it's kind of misty so i hope I hope we get a decent view, but anyway, if not, we'll sure we'll make the most of it anyway. But yeah, we'll see you down by the Rockefeller. We've just come into the Rockefeller Top of the Rock um, like place, and they said that we're gonna have to reschedule because there is zero view from the top. So we already booked our tickets online and paid for them. So they were like, yeah, you can just reschedule to any day and any time you like. So that's really good. Extremely ideal to be honest. I thought they were gonna send us up with no view anyway. Yeah, I'm glad because yeah, exactly. I thought we'd end up going up and not having a view, but we'd have to anyway because it was paid for and booked. But anyway, we'll go and sort this out now and reschedule for either tomorrow or the next day. We have rescheduled for tomorrow at half three. It's meant to be quite sunny tomorrow, so fingers crossed okay. we get a good view. I think we're gonna spend the rest of the evening doing some shopping. Yeah. Connor wants to hit up Abercrombie, so we're going down Fifth Avenue to find it. shopping but it's cut short because Connor decided that he wanted to book a comedy show. Yeah I almost wanted to go to a comedy house and then the arts we book one and we're gonna head in there. Yeah he got tickets online there it's starting in 20 minutes and it's 15 minute walk so very random totally out of the blue but sure it's an experience and I'm excited. <laughs> So we are just out of the comedy show. It was definitely an experience. Yeah, it turns out they're not very funny. <laughs> like fair play to them for getting up. It's not easy, obviously, with everybody looking at you. You gotta but admire the confidence they had going up on stage, the but confidence. my god, they bombed. Some of the jokes like genuinely just did not like they just didn't even make sense like I was like what does that even mean and there was a lot of like politics kind of jokes as well that weren't funny either but they kind anyway. of trying to do jokes and then when they wouldn't come off they'd be like oh tough crowd tough crowd but, but it's no, like your jokes are funny <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was a good experience. The place was called uh, the Grizzly Pear. Yeah. They do comedy shows in there all the time. But now we're starving, so we're heading to a Mexican place for some dinner. Thank you. definitely a lot colder today so we're really wrapped up and then we just went and got a coffee and the plan is now to go to Central Park to do ice skating and we're here let's go ice skating everybody's in here running Saturday morning grind nobody was in yesterday but we were <laughs> 
so beautiful and so cool the way it's just literally a central park everything's so built up around oh my god it's so cool thank god today is a lot better yesterday it was like raining when we were in and you couldn't really see up there but it's nice and clear and bright today something that i've noticed is a lot of the dogs in the city they wear little boots <laughs> so wee cute. wellies wee wellies it must be to keep their um paws warm. their paws warm and clean but there's a labrador like a big labrador that just went pie and he's got four like red wellies on <laughs> they're so cute like to see his wee boots the red boots oh my god i can't cope our tickets, tickets both of them were what was it, it was $74 for two tickets and yep. skates yep. yeah let's head on in it looks to be quite quiet so hopefully nobody will be laughing at you when you fall right. we're off a bit wobbly at the beginning but look at the background <laughs> the little ones can offer their lesson that is just class the start was very rocky but now we're getting confident. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's the group. Oh my god, it's so nice. on top of the Rockefeller. Yeah, it is so cool. absolutely class. How much are the tickets again? I think they're like $50 each. $50 each, yeah. But well worth the view. 100%. It's amazing. And when we're going up on the lift, your ears are popping like mad because you're going up so, so high. It's nice to actually see the Empire State Building because if you go and do the tour in there, you can't see it. But whereas the Rockefeller is looking right at it. And on the other side, we've got Central Park front and center and then this here connor you were saying that that's uh, what is I think it it's like one of the most famous apartments you can get in new york oh rihanna lives there rihanna has an apartment there yeah i think so you sure positive <laughs> it's so scary when you look down so cool and this is such a nice time to come up it's just half four all the lights are starting to twinkle on and you see the nice kind of orange in the sky it's yeah, a sunset it's, so cool. it's beautiful oh my god i am exhausted, exhausted. <laughs> we had a very very busy day oh my gosh we got loads done today didn't we we basically got two days worth of stuff done in one day <laughs> because yesterday was such a washout so when the Re rockefeller was cancelled because of the fog it kind of put everything upside down we didn't really have then like a plan b and then it was dark yeah so today we were like we've got to get all these things ticked off cause because it's our last full day we leave tomorrow night so we got up super early and we headed in. What did we do first? We. What did we do first? We done the Highline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been that long a day, I can't even remember. We done the Highline first. That's actually really cool. It's a great way to kind of see a view of all the roads. Like you're up on top and you just see all the traffic go below. Then we headed to Central Park and we done our ice skating there, which was lovely. It was just amazing seeing all the big buildings around us while skating in the center of the park. And then we went to the Met. So we looked around outside the Met. We didn't bother going because 
you need like a good few hours in there so next time when we come back we'll go in and then we met my friend alana for brunch which was lovely it was so nice to see her she lives out here and she's um working out here so was delighted to see her and then after that what did we do after that we went on Staten Island Ferry. No, we didn't. We went to Grand Central Station first oh, yeah. and we seen the inside of that. And then we headed down to the Staten Island Ferry where we could get a nice view of the whole New York skyline out on the ferry and the Statue of Liberty. I would really highly recommend going on the Staten Island Ferry. It's completely free and one goes every 30 minutes and you just see the whole skyline. It is beautiful. And then after that, we hopped on the subway and headed in towards Rockefeller. We went up to top of the rock. It was absolutely gorgeous as you've seen, like so beautiful. After that, we were absolutely starving. So we got loads of pastries and we nibbled on them and then we ended up getting a McDonald's. <laughs> I got chips and he got a Big Mac right? or a cheeseburger and we have dinner now in an hour and a half even though i could honestly just collapse into bed right now i'm so tired but we didn't really do a nice meal here we saved that for tonight so we have cucina eight and a half booked for this evening one thing i will say i really don't like the subway like it's terrifying down there it's very rough now last time i was here i didn't seem like it was that rough at all but now it's just horrible yeah it is like obviously it's so convenient because you can get from a to b in like the matter of minutes but there are some crazy people down there and they frighten me so much to be quite honest i'm clinging on to him and like just on edge the entire time we need to suck it up because it's the only way to get about and it is handy as she said yeah it is but anyway we're gonna get freshened up now and then head into our reservation in a while <laughs> Chinatown, Little Italy. Chinatown, Little Italy, and is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Over towards West Village anyway, because we haven't been over there yet. So let's head on over. We just finished breakfast. It was super yummy. And then we thought, we looked at the map and we seen that we were five minutes from the friend's apartment. And there it is. Oh, it looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really what I was expecting, but I think it's just because like you're we're actually in the street and we're like, oh, there's more to it than just the apartment. But it's really chucking it down now. Yeah. It's really cold as well today actually. Like I didn't wear gloves, my hands are freezing numb. It's literally like Ireland, wet, windy and rainy. Yeah, sideways rain, the worst type of rain. But um we're gonna head now and grab a subway to go to Chinatown. We may as well, um, it is our last day and I know it's raining, but we are in New York and we're going home tonight and we'd yeah. be kicking ourselves if we didn't make the most of the day. it's one of the only things that we've left to see, so we may as well go there. update is in a while we're actually back in Arnon now we left Little Italy and Chinatown and went straight then to the airport after we got our luggage because the weather was so bad in New York yesterday and our feet were exhausted from all the walking like for the couple days we were there so we just thought we'd get into the airport early and chillax for a bit our flight was at 10 past 9 last night 
um, and it was actually only five hours and 40 minutes so it was really good and quick tried to sleep a little bit on the plane but couldn't really like you know yourself on planes you can't stretch out and relax properly but landed now in Dublin it's just gone nine o'clock now and we're waiting to get another flight down to Donegal it's so handy because to drive back down home to Donegal would take like between four and five hours but we can get the flight um, and it's only 40 minutes the flight from Dublin Airport down to Carrickfin in Donegal so it's super handy. Look at the actual shape of my ankles. They are so swollen. I had my big Zara boots and I had them off during the plane and I put on fluffy socks but I actually couldn't get them on when we landed. It was so embarrassing so I had to pull these out of my hand luggage and throw them on. I don't know how people can come off flights looking nice and fresh and come off and I, I still have a bit of a dent from the eye mask. My feet are like two balloons. I have plain breath. <laughs> anyway, um, we had the best time ever, didn't we? Yeah, it was so good. It was such a good time. I know it rained literally the whole time we were there, but we made the absolute most of it. And I would love to go back in like the spring or summertime when it's brighter. When and when it's the dry. Day, when it's dry and when the days are longer as well. But in all fairness, we were just really unlucky because everybody was saying that it hadn't rained for weeks and weeks. And typical just when we landed, the rain started. Yeah. But it was fine. Like, it didn't really put us up or down other than yesterday and um, the Sunday our last day it was it was really rough that day it was out the wind more than anything nice it was just coming at us leave the full itinerary um in the description below and everything that we done it was really productive and we just knocked all the kind of hot spots and the tourist traps um off and we had a great time so yeah back home now I don't know when our next trip is going to be we we're already talking about it on the flight oh Nicola was talking about it <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.